Unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength. That I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language, but the Word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the Word. This year, God has spoken great things. I'm going to share some things. After you will pray. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Some of you think you, you have prayed. But you're going to pray. <laughs> Somebody say we're going to pray. You know some of you pray for five minutes and you're tired. Some of you pray for ten minutes and you're tired. Today. You're going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether you want it or not, you're going to pray. If you didn't know how, today you're going to learn. The spirit of prayer is going to rest upon you. 2016 was a wonderful year. Hallelujah. God flourished his love on us. We saw him in action. How many of you have done? God did something in 2016. I, I, I have never understood love like I saw it this year. To wake up one day and you only have God. You see, when you have God and other people, it's another thing. But when you only have God, I don't know who I'm speaking to. Do I have a witness? See, there's a time where you can have God with your with your cousin. God and your father. God and your mother. God and your career. God and your education. God and your network. But there is a day you wake up and you are alone with God. And it's going to increase this year. 2016 was a success. In spite of everything that happened in each of our lives. He was still God. Hallelujah. Amen. And everything he spoke came to pass. But God this year has spoken to me and has given me the message for you. Take it personal. You, you know, I might be speaking to thousands of people here. But take this message Person. It is yours. By the way, how many of you got healed when we were praising God? Stand, Stand up, up and I see you. If you were healed when we were praising God, stand up. Stand up. Wherever you are, stand up. Stand up. I want you to testify tonight. Stand up. If you are healed when we were praising God, worshiping, put up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I feel there are others. Stand up. Don't fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is that with a placard? I knew you are in age, Pande. What was he suffering from? Chichi. Bring. Bring an irate. Let us me. Let me see those who have been healed. Put up your hand. So So far. Why are you seated? Stand up. Stand up and and they see you. I want the devil to see. Cancer in the left leg for four years. What has he done for you? I wasn't going to come today. But people came with the taxi and they, and they told me, sir, Look at wake up and we go to pray. I, I, know know I, have uh, I have too much pain in my leg. I can't. 
For two years, I was lying down. I even came with a certain child. She is also sick. Bamuita paya si. Oya tuja musa bila kutubuli ya chakore di. Yabada naza ya naza. Yabada kunaza. Yabada ntuwale mkagari. Oze na kagari lero. Sise na kagari. Basi tude mazwa wala mwanteka mutaksi. Basi wa kusitude. Yeni mwanteka mutaksi. Kuveri mwala. Naguna gubade gugo. Gubade gwangi. That was his crutch. Come on. Laugh at the devil. Sekele na sitani. Gubade gwangi. Inga koka tono. Wait a minute sir. You know. Many of you, you notice when a miracle happens, I laugh. I usually laugh. You know why? Because when we were young, remember when, when you do something, or, I mean somebody thought they, they had put you in a bed. And then you get out. Then you say, ha, ha, ha. Come on, laugh at the devil. Tell us, sir. Now, the doctor, he had just told me, he told me, he told me, Mukisha, 2017, in June, in June, we are going to cut off this leg. He was always laying down. He was crippled in a wheelchair. They carried him here. The doctor told him that they were to amputate him. Oh. What happened when we were praying? I sat there. Boy. Somebody clap for Jesus. So, hey. Hey. He wants <laughs> Mi manya emba bazi, ni manya emba bazi, ni manya emba bazi, za Yesu. Ni manya emba bazi, ni manya emba bazi, ni manya emba bazi, za Yesu. Ni manya emba bazi, ni manya emba bazi. Clap for Jesus. Praise God. God bless you, sir. Nobody will amputate your legs. You are healthy. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody clap for Jesus. He could not walk. He has been moving on a wheelchair. They carried him to death. Cancer for four years. To be amputated. He's walking pain free. Oh. It is, tell your neighbor it's just the beginning. God is going to heal until you're scared. I tell your neighbor God is going to heal until you're scared. And I also want to tell you when you hear a miracle like that, you say, God, the same. Those of you who have been healed, stand. Stand there. Okay, sit. You'll testify later. We have many testimonies tonight. Where was I? Yeah. 
2016 God did us good. And 2017 there is a message for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to be sober. For these few minutes. Because in a few minutes many of you are not going to be sober. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll testify more. I know there are many testimonies. Many more testimonies. Even after here I'm going to pray more. Some of you who have not been healed now are going to be healed in a few minutes. Even when I'm preaching God is going to be healing some of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen. amen. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 32 verses 6. Somebody say amen. amen. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 32 verses 20 verses 6. We're going to read from verses 6. Up to about the 12th verse. And all saints said. And all saints said. The Bible says. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. In the 10th year of Zedekiah king of Judah. Which was the 18th year of Nebuchadnezzar. And Jeremiah said. Jeremiah said. The word of the Lord came unto me saying Behold Hananiah the son of Shalom thine uncle thine uncle shall come unto thee saying buy thee my field that is in Anathoth for the rights of redemption is thine to buy it are you hearing me so Hanamiel my uncle's son came to me in the court of the prison according to the word of the Lord said unto me By my field, I pray thee that this in Ananoth, which is in the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is for thyself. Say amen. Say amen. Gambamina. Hallelujah. Amen. For the right of what of inheritance is thine. The redemption is thine. He told it, buy it for thyself. And he says, then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, that was in Anano, and weighed him the money, even 17 shekels of silver. And I subscribed the evidence, and I sealed it, and took Witnesses weighed him the money in the balance. And I took the evidence of the parties. But that which was sealed according to the law and custom. And that which was opened. And I gave the evidence of the purchase and two barrels. The son of Neriah. The son of Messiah. In the sight of Hanamiel. My uncle's son. And in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase. Before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. Somebody say, Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Now, my, the scripture I'm going to take, I'm going to preach more than teach. Because the message is too grounded in a prophetic way. The Bible says you now have 
the sure word of prophecy. And that is the word of God. It's the sure word. Tell your neighbor it's the sure word. A man can lie. But this is a sure word. Give me the amplified. He says we have the prophetic word made firm as steel. He says you'll do well to pay close attention to it as to a lamp shining in a dismal squalid and dark place until the day breaks through the gloom and the morning star rises comes into being in your hearts who is the morning star answer me who is the morning star who is the morning star? Who is the morning star? Jesus Christ. Yes, to Christ. So he says, you hate to this thing. Until Christ rises. Until he shows up. You hold on to it. Until he shows up. You're going to hold on this thing. That I'm going to share with you. Until God shows up. The Bible says if we behold the beginning of our confidence till the end we protect Christ. When you receive the word of God you hold it in your spirit. From its beginning, the beginning of your confidence is that it will work. If you hold it up to the end, God says, You are made partakers of Christ. The word Christ there is the anointing. You get a hold of the anointing, you partake the anointing. Give me the amplified of the same. He says, For we have become fellows with Christ and share in all He has for us. In all He has for us. If only. Tell your neighbor if only. Tell him again if only. If only we hold our first newborn confidence and original assured expectations in virtue of which we are believers firm and unshaken till the end. Tell your neighbor I'm not moved by what I see. Tell your neighbor, I'm not moved. By what I hear. I'm not even moved. Tell, Tell your neighbor. neighbor. By what you think oh, about me. Tomutia. Don't fear them. Tell him I'm not moved. By what I hear. Tell him I'm not moved. By what I see. Tell him I'm not moved. But what he thinks. That they think. That she says. He that he says. Is the same as what I hear. Tell your neighbor, move by the word. Tell your neighbor the, the word move. Turn to another neighbor and tell him the word. Move me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. We go back to the story. Today, Amazingly. Jeremiah 32. In Jeremiah 32. This is what is amazing. I don't want you to forget this. It was the 17th prayer of Jeremiah. When the Babylonians had surrounded the Israelites. In the middle of that prayer. The word of the Lord came. Did you get it? Tell your neighbor 2017. I said. Hey. The, 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 
the Babylonians and the Ababilon had surrounded the Israelites. Praise the Lord. And they wanted to fight them. And Jeremiah goes to God to pray. In this prayer, the word of the Lord came to him when he was praying against the Babylonians attacking them. His 17th prayer you still don't get it. You still don't get it. What do you want to take it there? This is 27. And every word comes breathed by God. The Bible says, for no scripture is of private interpretation. But every word came. And the men of old speak by the Holy Ghost as He gave them utterance. God is giving me utterance. I said God is giving me utterance. If you believe it, this is yours. I say this is yours. I say this is yours. Now I might not define the Babylonian here. Because Babylon is a sister. Who am I speaking to? Babylon is a sister. Babylon in Kora. There is a sister surrounding the children of Israel. And it wants to frustrate them. And a man of God goes in the presence of Almighty God to seek God. And instead, God sends him a wife. And he tells him. Your uncle Salum has a son called Hanamil. And Hanamil has a field in Ananos. And he told him, Hanamil is going to come to you and tell you that I want you to buy my fields. For it's in your redeemed inheritance. Tell your neighbor it's in your redeemed inheritance. Tell your neighbor. He told him it's in your redeemed inheritance. To partake it. My God. Babylon. Babylon is surrounding the man. Yes, it's a double subject. God ignores Babylon. I don't know about Babylon. He tells him there is a guy called Hanamir. Your cousin, the son of your uncle, he has a field. He's going to come to you and tell you by it. And Hanamil came. The Bible calls him the son of Shalom. And he told him that the field is in Ananoth. Now, listen to the Hebrew. Shalom was the father of Hanamil. Hanamil had a field called Ananoth. Right? Shalom, Shalom is translated as retribution. Like taking an act of vengeance to repay for something somebody has done to you. That is retribution. It's the full price of taking vengeance and exercising wrath on somebody or something that frustrated you. Somebody say amen. Shalom Shalom begat Hanamil. Hanamil Anameri. is a Hebrew for God is gracious. Are you following me? 
Because of the wrath, the retribution, the wrath of God satisfied through the sending of Jesus who knew no sin and he came in the likeness of a servant in the form of a man and he put on flesh and he dwelt among them and they beheld his only glory as the only true son of God full of grace and truth man sinned man fell God got angry. He needed to send his wrath to satisfy to reveal his vengeance against sin. He sent Jesus. He sent Jesus. That Jesus the Bible says comes full of Christ and truth retribution begets grace and God comes to the man and tells him the son of Shalom God is gracious because he fully revealed his wrath and he, to sin in Christ. Now his grace comes to me to say, I want to sell you your redeemed possession. Ananoth. Ananoth. The Greek word for Ananoth is answers to prayer. No, ah. answers to prayer. Oh, hallelujah. If you understood what I said, shout amen. Did, did you hear what I said? Did you just hear what I said? The retribution the price fully paid by God his wrath demonstrated on the Christ sends grace the man is surrounded by Babylon and God says Babylon is not the problem there's something you need to possess when you have Babylon is not a problem. The system is not a problem. So he sends grace. And grace says, I come with me the redemption of your inheritance. This is your inheritance. It's a field. It's called an anoth. Translated as answered prayer. Meaning the retribution of sin in man was paid by the sending of Christ which is the ultimate representation of Hanamil full of grace and truth and he comes to the man and he tells him I want to give you the redemption of your inheritance answers to prayer didn't he say that he never called Jacob to seek him in vain he didn't call me to seek him in vain he didn't call me to seek him in vain and he said other name and I didn't come to wait he didn't call me to seek him in vain The system is there. 
It is not the threat. God ignores the system. And he tells this man, all you need is a certain grace on your life. Whereby, you have answers to prayer. See, what do you want? When you have answers to prayer. You see, when you have answers to prayer, you have answers to men who pray. You have answers to men <laughs> oh, yes. okay, yes. if somebody can say Jesus Mafuta, I want the anointing do you, you have the answer Nagat, yes. Jesus you say, I want a job you have their answer Nagat, yes. you say Jesus Mafumo, I want marriage Ngorina, answer. you will have their answer Nagat, yes. they say Jesus Zagara I want to start a ministry. Kwe, you have their answer. Jesus, I want capital. Kwe, you have the answer. Slap three people. And tell them I have an answer. To prayer. Somebody say amen. Say amen again. Say amen again. Are you hearing me? God told me. Now I'm starting to tell you. 2017. I saw the word written in the spirit. And it read like. Freedom. 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 And I said. From what? To what? Told me simple. Freedom to answer prayer. I don't know that you understand what I'm saying. What do you want to get God doesn't. God wants you to go past answering your prayer. Because the ultimate answered prayer is the answer to prayer. What do we have into? There are things Mukatonda. in God that you can ask for one thing and it brings everything. Mm. Do you get me? What do we have into Mukatonda? There are things in God that you can chimu. ask for one thing and it will bring everything. Mm. I have discovered that when he was in Jeremiah that it's possible for God to give you a grace that answers prayer. Uh, yeah. That's the money phone. That before you pray, ha, I will answer you. Did you get it? He told the man, before you pray, I will hear you and answer you. This year, I prophesy upon you. That before you pray, God will. Oh, hallelujah. The prayer we are going to make oh, to kola. is not to answer our prayers, si kwa kwa faith. but it is to buy an anot. Suku, an anot. I don't know if you understand what, what I'm saying. The prayer we are going to make to today to kola kola. is not God to answer one prayer. Si kwa kwa an anot an is answers to prayer plural Binji. do you get me it is answers to prayer this year now let me speak about myself you can also join me I'm entering a place where I answer prayer Men pray. I come and I give them answers to what they are uh, praying for. Let me say it again. This year, you're going to give answers to prayer because you got the ultimate answered prayer. 
wafuna echo kudamu echinene echo ananos ananot eh hey. hey. You find a man saying God heal me. You come with an answer. You don't minister questions. Oh, you come with an answer. You don't minister You don't minister questions. Rather than ministering questions. You minister faith. Godly edification. The Bible says godly edification. Is through faith. He spoke of men in Timothy. Which were ministering questions to the hearts of the hearers. People look at you and they start asking questions. But they are born again. Why are they poor? Why are they beggarly? When everything failed, it is changing this year. I said it is changing this year. Begin from verse 2. And to Timothy, my son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ. He says, As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when went I into Macedonia, that thou mightest judge some, that they teach no other doctrine, neither give heed to endless genealogies and fables which minister questions. Rather than godly edification, which is in faith. There were some people who used to teach things that used to make people ask more questions. They are born again. Why are they failing? They are born again. Why have they failed? They are born again. Why are they have they are born again? Why is their landlord shaking? They are born again. Why is their husband beating them? They are born again. Why are they sick? No, they are not wrong. They just have questions, brother. Are you hearing me? 2017. God knew what is surrounding you. And he said things are surrounding you so much. But it's not a problem. There is something I want to deliver to you. It is another thing. It becomes an answer. Unto every prayer. This year. I speak upon your life. Men will look at you and they will receive answers. Them that contended, they will believe. They will say, the God of that gentleman is working. You will get into hospital. You will meet a sick person. I came with an answer. And you tell them nothing at all could move. You will meet a landlord. And you will look at them go to Chakudamu. Tell your neighbor this year. I'm not ministering questions. Tell, tell them again. This year. I give answers. I'm not ministering questions. I decree upon your life. Certain things are going to start happening. Nothing. Before you, you they will observe you and see it. And they will say there is something upon that lady. You don't know its name, but it's working. It's working. It is working. They, they told you they came with cancer. They didn't even want to come. But his answer was here. Come on. Hallelujah. 
cancer. Some of you don't get cancer. God can't get cancer out of a body. And you remain with poverty. Do you get what I'm talking about? God can't get rid of cancer in a body. And you stay bound. God can't get cancer out of a body. And you lack money. And you lack grace. And you lack ministry. Because Sick people are People with questions are made. The world has questions. There is a reason why you're here. I came to give you an answer. Noah found grace. He built an ark. Moses found grace. God appeared to him. And the Bible says he knew the ways. Hey! Hey! Now and you today you can't leave this place even if you don't want you can't leave this place as you came amen something must change in my life today I said something must change in my life today. The Lord spoke to me. This year is going to bring a radical hunger for the world. This is the hour of the world. This freedom comes with revelation. God is going to open doors for the world. The word is going to have free course this year than it has ever had in your life. May I receive it? Nothing is going to slow you with the word. Nothing is going to frustrate you with the word. Nothing is going to distress you with the word. The Bible says he sent a word to Jacob. What did it do? It lit the whole of Israel. Israel is your spirit man. Jacob is your physical man. God says, I'm sending a word to your physical body. But it is going to light up your Israel. Your spiritual man is going to shine. The Bible says the path of the just shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect man. This year I am believing that you are going to shine brighter than you have ever shined. I don't care about the system surrounding I don't care about your weakness. I don't care about what you did last summer. I don't care about what you even think about yourself. He says, for if our hearts condemn us, God is bigger than your heart. Oh, God is bigger than your heart. This is my year. Tell your neighbor, this is my year. I'm going to shine so bright. Tell your neighbor, the word of God is going to come out of my spirit. Like it has never before. When he sends his word, he heals your disease. Some of you, you made church, you made church a shrine. You just go there to beg. It's about time you became an answer. Do you get me? It's about time you become an answer. He said, "You shall know the truth." And the truth shall make you obey. This year, the grace is available to know truth. 
Abantu bagenda kuyayanira ekigambo mwaka guno. Are going to desire for the word this year. Ngabe batachiyayanira ngako. And never before. Ate bajja kunonya mazima. And they will seek the truth. Bebawulire ebibuso bajja kuvaa. When they hear answers they will leave. Kubanga abantu batubulira enjiri baaula. Because the people we are preaching by so over today na eba aula sit behind there but they discern right who am i speaking to look at an an here you am i america choker and am i talking to you guys behind there this whole evening I'm telling myself I'm giving answers this year I'm giving answers you're entering your business oingira business with answers you Come Monday, you enter your workplace, wherever you work, with answer. This year, of course, some of you are going to get married. Of course. If you're getting married, say father, gamba tata. This year, omwaka guno. I'm entering marriage. As an answer to the man's prayer. To the woman's prayer. Say, don't fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. Oh, glory to God. Some of you are entering jobs this year. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. This year, I'm entering my job. As an answer to prayer, my bosses will say, This was an answered prayer. The government will say, This was an answered prayer. The institution will say, This was an answered prayer. The company will say, This was an answered prayer. This year, you are entering places of ministry. Where is a praise card? I'm prophesying, brother. I'm in prophecy right now. Anamira yogera. Anamel is talking. You have bought an anus. This year, I decree upon you for anybody that is made up to minister and to God. You're entering ministry with answers. Listen, if you're a minister and you're here, now I'm speaking from an apostolic grace. Something is happening on your life this year. Something is happening on your life this year. Okay, me let me speak to myself. Something is happening on my life this year. It will silence everybody who doubts the God in you. God is telling me to talk to somebody here. Katonda ina You believed God. Wakirisa katonda. And they doubted the God. Nababu sabu katonda go wakirisa. You believed God. Wakirisa katonda. And they asked questions. Nababu sebi muso. This year, Omwa kaguno. Your God. Katonda wo. The Lord of Sabaoth. Mukama owama. Is going to answer them. Agenda kuba damu. Ha ya 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 ya. I feel the anointing right now of those people. Those are going to open upon your life like you have never imagined. Power is going to be demonstrated. Holy Ghost! Like you have never seen before. I hear the Spirit say, I give you favor. And I give you grace. I give you favor. He says there's a favor that supersedes where you are. There's a favor that transcends the systems of your nation. There's a favor that that, that goes beyond your relations. This year, it is yours. 
That favor. Men are going to meet you. And they will see answers. You don't get it. They will see answers. They will look at you. And say look at the answer. They will see you driving. And they will say look. At the answer. You will be walking on the street. And they will say look. At the answer. Are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to receive it? In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. He's here. Wali wano. Some there are people here. Wali wa bantu wano. Who are tired of asking them questions. Aba koyo babu zevi. Ofumbi wadi. When I just come. Yebwe ni muabati. What's up? Mowe ni zabu muabati. What's up? What's up? Oblang bobu muabati. What's up with your life? In the world's association. What's up with your life? There are people here. Wali wa bantu wano. Who are tired of being asked questions. Ofumbi wadi. Nego muabati. What's up with you? Why are your friends changing? We told you, Katitina, a bit. What's up? If you're tired of questions, this is your year. This is your year. Answers to prayer. We're not going to pray. For God to answer our one prayer. No. We are going to connect ourselves to the grace of answered prayer. Listen. There is a place where every man who has seen God has gone. There is a place where every man who has seen God has gone again. You're going there tonight. The spirit is here. The spirit is here. The spirit is here. I am going somewhere. I have never been before. Me, Lubega Grace. I don't know about you, but I'm going somewhere where I've never gone. In the name of Jesus. We are now in the most critical hour of your life this year. You're going to draw your future now. Okay. It's your choice. Tell your neighbor, it's your choice. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. As a ministry, we are changing from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Even as your souls prosper. In the name of Jesus. We're going to see God. This year. Than ever before. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Now we are going to pray. Tell anybody we are going to pray. We are going to pray. Ah, but we prayed. Tell anybody we are going to pray. Yes. Ah, but we prayed. Night of prayer. We want to fix something now. And sort the whole year. Answered Prayer. Answers. To prayer. To prayer. To prayer. To prayer. There are people here. I saw people saying, but God, I want to demonstrate your power. Do you really want it? This is God this year. I want a demonstration. Can I show you the kind of demonstration I'm talking about? Can I show you the kind of demonstration I'm talking about? I just a sample. Not the whole, but a sample. That. 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 Are you seeing? Did I pray? 
Did I pray? That. Which two? That's a sample. Did I pray? Should I add more? That. That. What's that? Carry that woman in green. Bring them here. Should I increase it? I, I just want to show you where you're going. Should I just increase it? That. Look at that. You're going to demonstrate power. You'll stand where demons are. Now, right now, I'm changing my countenance on anybody possessed with demons. Here. God, God is going to introduce you to another place in the demonstration of power. came with a walking stick just walk Tambura. we don't even need to pray you're entering a place of demonstration this year people are going to look at you they will not believe how God moves in your life even if you're not a preacher woman you'll enter a saloon and that thing happens you'll enter a bus and that thing happens you step in a shopping mall and that thing happens some of you don't understand what I'm saying let me tell you when God in this world you just need the anointing you don't need anything when you have the anointing, you have everything. Because the anointing is God. There's a way you can't die when you are anointed. But some anointed people have died. I'm not talking about those ones. I'm not talking about that anointing. No. No. I'm talking of the anointing like the Bible calls that preserves. Some of us are supposed to be dead. But God places something inside you. You are supposed to be dead. But something inside you. That he can't let you die. That he can't let you die. That he can't let you die. Listen right now. God is realigning destiny. You're not going to die this year. And most certainly, before you finish what God has called you, I don't care how old you are. I feel the Holy Ghost. Like I told you, every minute the presence is going to increase is going to increase by the time we live here in the morning something is going to change the Lord instructed me he told me on 31st please pray please pray You've always wanted men to go there for you. And pick things for you. And bring them to you. Today, you're going yourself. Even me, I'm going. There's something 
that is going to live with you today I promise you tomorrow morning this morning some of your people are going to comment and ask you what is wrong with you what, what is changing about you something about you is changing what happened last night when we pray the fire is going to fall there is nothing that changes a man's life like the anointing mm. the day I met the anointing I was 19 years old mm. from that day I knew that I was different no man could talk me out of it I've been through things I don't think some of you, even a quarter of them, you'd still be alive. I've been through things I would never tell my mother. I've been through things I would never tell my brother. I've been through things I would never tell pastors. I've been through things I would never narrate to anyone. But when a man stands before God, when a man sees God, I'm not talking about hearing about Some people are gifted, but they've not seen God. I'm not talking about just being gifted. No. Uh-uh. When I speak about him, you know. When I talk about him, you know that I know him. For those of you who have told for three, four, five years, it's one thing you know that I know the God I'm talking about. This thing is multiplying in our nation in a speed and magnitude we cannot describe it is bigger than Uganda Uganda. it is bigger than Africa it is bigger than the world listen to me saints you have had experiences and how many of you and, and this, is, this is proof how many of you feel in your spirit you're tired of being tired of where you are you're telling God I'm tired I don't want a house I want you I'm not asking for it. I didn't come to a stake. I didn't come because I'm barren. If you give me a child, that's just a bonus. God has showed me people who are so hungry. We are starting our fasting of 40 days on second. This year, January, January, February, February, March, March. We are going to be lost to get up to Buzenyo from some of you. Okuveri abam kum. And some of you, from some kum. We get up to Okuveri abam to abam. Your Facebook is going to reduce. Facebook ye genda kendera. Your WhatsApp is going to reduce. WhatsApp ye genda kendera. You wake up in the morning. Ozuku kakumacha. And put on Facebook. No take up on Facebook. At seven a.m. Sawe mwe yokuwa. Your heart is even pumping. Omuti ba gonga kuku banu. Because of lack of sleep. Kuvanga toy na tulo. The God of this world. Katondo we insane took your most precious time when you're still alive you do facebook when you die when you go to heaven we have a lot to do you do facebook at 10 you do facebook at midday you do facebook at 2 you're on whatsapp at 3 4 5 6 you have 70 groups they are not Christian 
Those days are coming to an end. Tell your neighbor we are out of time. I don't know what overnight you are expecting. But no man is here by mistake. No man is listening to me. By mistake. God, we are going to give you time. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? God is drawing us to the closet. This year, with a genuine hunger, men are going to pray. And they won't find the the strength to stop. I don't know that making sense. You've been asking for the strength to pray. But this time, you will not have the strength to stop. We are going to pray this year. Not as of men seeking for answers. No. We are answered prayers. We are answers to prayer. But we are going to seek God this year. Because of one thing. There is more. And we want it. Revival. Reformation. They all have one thing in common. God gets a man and puts him on a wall and he tells him this is me and you it's not your pastor it's not your apostle it's not your prophet it's not your teacher it's not your evangelist it is me and you now you're going to see God face to face. No man has seen God and he, and he stayed alive. Yes. You're more than a man. You're a spirit. This year, we are going to recreate our future. I saw people speaking words in their closing that are going to shake the foundation. I promise you, by the end of 2017, you're going to look at Fanero and you'll say there is a huge difference. This year, sorry, when we meet to pray at the end, 31st, I'm sure all of you are going to be here. You're not going to die. No, but you also need to witness. Something is going to happen in our lives. And we'll say, this is God. I am tired of results that can be explained. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm tired of things that have a story that can be explained. I prophesy upon your life that in a few minutes you're going to move into a zone. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. You're going to move into a, a zone where you're not going to be able to be explained. You're going to produce results. I wish somebody sees what I'm seeing in the spirit. I see angels. They're on this ground. And they're like pouring out something. On certain individuals. And I see lights. On these individuals. And they are shining. They are shining. This year I told God. I have seen God. I have seen God. I have seen God. But I say it this year. I'm going to see you than I've ever seen you. I know how. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. 
Listen, Ulida. God is anointing individuals. All you needed was the anointing. I want to tell you, you just need the anointing. He walked to a man which was possessed by legions of angels. Uh, sorry, demons. No man he said could hold this man when demons went on him. No man could hold him. No man. That means he was the kind who could not go to Utabika. Because he would break every bone in every man. He found a man who had something on his life. And that man looked at him and the demons in him he said, Son of man, what do you want? What do you want with me? There are certain things in this life. The anointing on your life can fix. But some of you, if you're keen enough, you realize there are things you fail to fix. It's a relationship issue. You don't need to rebuke just one demon out of you to get the job you can get man and die you can get money and die and that same money kills you you need the Holy Ghost you need a certain anointing let me tell you something somebody asked me why do people come in Fanero? Two years. You're flipping into 5,000 people. Every week we have 2,000 to 3,000 people watching on live stream. Now I think we're about 3,000 because they are groups. And I told him, you can learn doctrine in Bible school. Huh? Mm. But there is one thing Bible school doesn't teach. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. Bible school doesn't teach it. God teaches it. You can have an atmosphere in your business. You can have an atmosphere in your marriage. You can have an atmosphere in your ministry. You can have an atmosphere in your career. You can have an atmosphere in your school. I remember one day at university. I entered the group of people with a group of people to pray. We prayed for one hour. People were passing outside the room. The power of God hit them and they started carrying them back inside. They were going to the library and that day God even arrested the reverend. He was passing to go through the library. The power of God seized him. We carried him into the midst like rubble. And I knew this thing can't fail to get a job. I never looked for a job in my life. I knew this thing can't be broke. I'm not a broke man. I knew that this thing can't fail. This year, I told God I want to I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking to. I didn't come to pray for you. Me, I came to pray for myself. This year, I must see God. What do you want to know? There are some people who are not yet fed up. There are people here who are fed up. That's the person I came from. Some of you are here today. That's the person I came from.
Bible school can teach you demonstration. The Bible school can teach you demonstration. School of ministry. The, the, the school of ministry can teach you demonstration but it will never define your degrees of the demonstrating power of your life why aren't people hungry why aren't people hungry for God now on the other side, there are people who are hungry. Why are they hungry? For God. He must be up to something. He must be up to something. He must be up to something. God is going to introduce you to a place. I'm entering this year praying. I said I'm entering this year praying. I don't know about you. But me. I am entering this year praying. The atmosphere. On your life. Is going to increase. Mighty. It's going to draw things. To you. Some of you are going to discover the things you sold were seeking you now. The people you were pleading with, are they are going to plead with I'm you. I'm speaking with power. I know Mani. what I'm saying. Those who you needed are going to need in the name of Jesus. Some of you traveled miles to come. Why did you catch what Why are you not yet in your bed? Watch to never come. There is a reason. The message you have just heard was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 41 466 4291 or email us at fenerocompala at gmail.com You can also find us on the web at www.fenero.org Or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowships at UMA Multipurpose Hall from 5pm to 8pm You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash fenero Fenero, make manifest